Hey y'all, welcome to a series I'm going to be starting on how to remove this piece of crap software um, called Canine Web Protection which basically just stops you from accessing certain sites and whatever but I'm then I'm gonna show you how to remove it without, without the password or anything but I'm gonna be doing it a bit differently I'm going to be doing it as a standard user with absolutely no admin rights because the all like install this program here but obviously you can't so first thing you need to do is you need to get is you need to get yourself a copy of Highland Boot CD Try and go Google. They shouldn't be out Google, but my one's like blocking everything. So this is a problem. So you're going to need to go to another computer and download Highlands Boot CD, transfer it to this computer via some sort of USB after you've downloaded it. Okay. Not only that, you're going to need to download. Actually, that's all you need to download. It's just Highland Boot CD. I'll go emulate this. I'll go emulate me doing that by me just um by me just straight up right. And the site is HighlandsBootCD.org. Okay, that you, I'm just going to emulate being able to do that by just a yellow on the site because I do happen to know the password. Oh, except I don't. Crap. I'm supposed to know the password. Um, okay, I'll go pull it up for a second. Obviously, you guys wouldn't be able to do this. You just need to, um, you would have to, what's it called? Yeah, you'd have to go to another computer that you do have access to download these things on if you don't have access. I mean, they might have their things set up in such a way where you can actually access this. But, um, but yeah, so you might pass for, oh, there we go. Okay, um, so you would just need to download this from another computer, but because but because we don't um have that because I can't really show that on camera, um, I'm gonna just do it this way. But you would just have to get some another computer, okay? I know I've said that like 20 times, but you have to get this some another computer. Or I don't know, get access to this site. If you have access to this site, you can download it straight from here, that's okay. Anyway, you want to wait for this to finish. So I'll pause the video and start it again once this is done. Okay, it's almost down. As you can see, it's only got like 16 seconds left. So once this is down, downloading, um, I'll show you something else. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, you will need a um, CDL. Now, you can do this with a USB as well, but I don't know how to do it. But if you want how to do Highlands Boot CD on a USB, you just Google. Just do a Google search. Um, you'll probably find a tutorial on how to do that. So now, you, once you've got it, you, you've, once you've got it on this computer, alright, you just want to extract it. This is about spynet.microsoft.com. they really trying to spy on me? I need to just extract this. I 
Oh my god, I'm gonna turn off my Wi Fi, this is getting really annoying. Well, you know, it made it go way faster. Alright. So now you will need to insert your CD into the CD drive. It can be either a CD or a DVD. Either one will work. Alright, so I'm going to just take this again, DVD I have here. And I'm just going to straight up insert it into this drive. Alright, now it's being read from the CD-ROM drive. Alright, and it should pop up here. I'm going to just connect back to that. Um, it should just pop up here. As you can see, it just popped up saying there was a thing. And then you just need to run burn to CD. It's kind of interesting. Why is code for this? Push you. Ah, okay. Um, you guys need to run this. Okay, and you will get this here. Now choose whatever write speed your CD supports. Or you can just go, if you're not sure, just do 1x, because that will work just fine. But I'm going to use it at default, because I'm pretty sure my, computer, my CD can handle that. And now you just kick start. Insert the disk. Might inject it for you on but by itself. I don't know why. It don't might do that. Right, and then write the image. Want to burn? And this does not take that long at all. As you can see, it's already done too, and now it's on three. Yes, this is a very quick thing, but I am going to stop it anyway. Alright, it's almost done. You can see. So. And it's done. This is going to so take a little bit longer. It's taking ages. Okay, read verifying. Okay, this is this is getting really quick, so I don't really care about skipping this one. Never mind, it's taking a while. I'll skip it. Okay, just finished. Okay, and there you go. It says complete. So. The CD now has highlands on it. So what you need to do now is actually boot from this CD. Okay, now this is a um this is a process that will require me to turn off the computer and do some things on the computer. So I'm going to switch to my camera for this. Okay. Okay, so for this next step we are going to need to turn off the computer so I will not be able to record it. Um, however, I'll show you, I've got the CD in my drive. So you need to just insert the CD. Alright, check. Now, turn off the computer. Now turn it on. 
and pay close attention to the corners because um, it will tell you to push a key to do something and for me it's F12 and it's set up there you need to just watch out for the things that will be in one of these corners it will tell you like push this key for boot menu or something like that and then you should just see like a menu that looks something like this it will be different on every computer but it will look something like this it needs to click CD slash DVD slash CD RW drive alright and this will be what we will use to grant ourselves administrative access so mini windows xp alright so now it's loading mini windows xp and this is taking forever, forever so I'm going to pause it and start it again once it's done ok here we go it's almost done it's a load, it's going to so loading it or whatever and then you'll see the Windows XP logo. And this is just a bootable version of Windows XP. So it's like a Windows XP but like as a live CD. And you'll see like this background here. Now. Here's the thing with this pattern. Okay. Is if you can figure out how to make the wi -Fi setup work. Which I can't. Um, the, if you're using the internet from here, it would have absolutely no restrictions at all. Okay? But, we don't going to want this. We want to permanently remove all the restrictions. And so, to do that, we need to grant ourselves the administrative access. So, there are a couple ways you can do this. There's the way it's built into Highlands Boot CD, which doesn't always work. In fact, I hardly ever works. Um, and then there's the way it uses the command prompt, which is what we're going to use. So you just want to change to local disk C, which on this is D colon, it's not C colon. And you can check what yours is, because it might not be D colon if you use a different drive. Um, but you'll see here, local disk D, so it's D colon on this one. Now you need to um, CD to Windows. Then CD to System32. Alright, and now you need to rename osk.exe to osk2.exe. Alright. Now you need to copy cmd.exe as osk.exe. Alright, now that we've done that, you just need to reboot the computer. Just be sure you click restart slash eject all, because that will eject the CD. So it won't just go straight back into this. Because the computer may just instantly go into Highlands, I mean, it depends on the computer. Let's make sure that you pop out the CD. Turns it off, it didn't even reboot, I told it to reboot and it turns it off. So you want to turn it back on? Yep. Start Windows. And I accidentally kicked on my user there. Um, if you kick on your user like by force habit or something, you need to not do that. Okay, and if you do kick on your user, you just need to um, sign out. So yeah, you just need to kick Yog off. Oh, I need to hit this little thing here, ease of access. And then kick on type without the keyboard. 
on screen keyboard. keyboard. That modification we just made, okay. this will actually open a command prompt, and you'll see up there, it should say administrator. So what can we do here? Well, we just type net user. Alright, and you'll see net user, and you'll see a list of all users. So I'm going to type net user, your name. I don't know, it's net local group. Alright, your name, which is mine, is, stand, is standard. One standard user administrators for slash app. And of course I failed at that somewhere. Um so you want to type net local group. What? Okay, somehow I killed it. Make your computer easier to use. Windows will read to type without the keyboard. Oh. If that happens, see if it just kills this. Easier to use. Type without the keyboard on screen. Oh. Okay, so um, let's try again. Net Yoko Group. Um. Okay, so if it gives you this error here about net local group, um, don't worry. There's another thing we can do, which I will do here. Net user, the name of the administrator account, which in this case is admin. Alright, and then a little asterisk sign. And then just hit enter and enter. And you'll see it says that you've just changed the password to nothing. So now, if you were to click on the administrator user, it should just sign you straight in. Now, once you're in here, so once you're in here, you need to open your web browser. Now, it may block you from downloading a software, but you need to download a piece of software. If it blocks you, you can always use Highlands um, to download it, or you can use another computer. But I'm just going to use the convenience of knowing a password and just getting past the restrictions if it puts them up on my face. So, um... Yeah, as you can see, it's popping up on my face. Oh yeah, um, I can start recording from my computer screen now, so I'll go do that, and I'll also go get the password from my phone. So, yeah. Okay, so, I'm just going to a Yahoo site. You know, yeah, I'm just going to a Yahoo site. Um, uh, actually, no, I'm going to look at my history, and as I can't actually remember what the software is called, I know I suck. Um, so I'm gonna go see all history. Um, what the? Okay, I'll be back once I remember what the software is called. Okay, so I remember what the software is called. It's called Renovo Uninstaller, and that's the website right there. Go download it on that other computer that you used before to download the um, Highlands. But anyway, I'm once again do not have another computer that does not have the software on it to test this on. So I'm just going to go use this 1471264. Whatever. Okay, I'm just going to enter the password. You guys won't know passwords, you have to use another computer. But, you know. Now, it's very important that you get the pro version, okay? Um, there's apparently a free demo for it. Yeah, free trial. 
You just need to get the pro version, and of course, it's blocking me. Um, like I said, download this on another computer. Um, if you don't have access, I mean, you might have access. They might not block this for you, but yeah, you just need to download this file. You just need to make sure you have this thing here. Okay, if you have this file, right, means you have this compute file on your computer. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. Okay, you'll open it. Click run. And it will ask you for using account control, but since you're an administrator now, you can just click yes. And choose app. Next. I accept. Next. 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 And you can uninstall this program afterwards. You just need this. Now close Firefox. Once it installs fully, um, you should be able to remove this program fairly easily. So you just need to click, yeah, you launch the program. Alright, and it's gonna yo. It's gonna say yoding and yoding, okay. Now you need to find Canine Web Protection. All right, and just click uninstall. All right, and it will do all this. All right, now we'll start Canine's default built-in uninstaller. Alright, but you just want to say no, because it's going to ask you for the password if you try and do that. Now, just say advanced as the scanning mode, and click scan. And it should, hopefully, find all files that it uses. Let's see if we can just wait for this. Whatever we out. Okay, I will pause this and come back once it finds something. Okay, it found something. Um, so you just want to go select all. Next. No, select all. Um, delete. Yes. All right, and then you'll see all this stuff, and you want to go select all. Delete. Yes. Alright. Now you just need to reboot. But before I do that, I'll stop my recording. <laughs> okay, I've just rebooted my computer. Make sure you go back into the administrator account that you had before. And um, you just need to go over to the so last thing because it will still block you. From your com from connecting to the internet, it's like a, your fail safe it has not hide something pretty well hidden, but I uh, you know where it is. Um, it'll hide something in System 32 in drivers. You should find something called bk bckd.sys, and if you put your mouse over this, you'll see it says K9 Web Protection Driver. 
You just want to delete this and hit continue. Okay, and now that that is gone, you need to reboot one more time. I know they're killing us with these reboots, but you need to reboot one more time and then you should. Okay, that should finally be it. It should finally be gone. And you can tell when we open up our browser. We open our browser when it finally loads it. We should have nothing stopping us from accessing any sites. If the browser will ever open. Okay. Google.com working um search for something like i don't know it's what be a bjork site obviously facebook would be bjork um more can i pull it up oh oh it's crashing my computer does this sometimes, it just goes really slow for a bit, and then just fixes itself after a few seconds. I don't know why. Can you guys even see this happening? I don't even know. Yuck, Facebook works, and just to test the site we are on before, um, highlandsbootcd.org. Right, remember how that was Bjork before? Well, now it's not, so... Yeah. That's about it for this video. Oh, wait, one more thing. Uninstall Revo Uninstall Pro. Just because you probably... Don't want it. And I'm not saying it's a bad program, it's a great program. But you probably don't need it anymore, so...